give it up for the gays? <laughs> okay, fuck now, alright. All right. It's been a special Pride Month this year. It's my little sister just came out of the closet. Yes, it's not here. And it's not, I didn't do it, she did it. Uh, it'd be weird if I made her do it. <laughs> no, but my little sister, she met her girlfriend in the best way possible. Uh, I swear to God, Zach, my little sister and her girlfriend work together at Chick-fil-A. Yeah, they're in a chick fil ship. I didn't know that was what it was called. Yeah. All that pressure made beautiful lesbian diamonds. Yeah. It's cool. I hear chick fil A's getting progressive, though. I hear chick fil A's gonna change their slogan. Chick-fil-A. Eat more pussy. Yeah. My little sister, she was supposed to be here. She lives in Athens. She's a senior here at UGA. Um, she was supposed to be here, but I swear to God, Chick-fil-A sent her and her girlfriend on a work trip to Seneca, South Carolina. Yeah, so not only did they meet at Chick-fil-A, Chick-fil-A's putting them in a hotel room together tonight. Yeah. <laughs> the fucking Seneca Scissor Fest 2022. It's going down. It's my sister. Don't, all right. <laughs> That's cool. I love her being a lesbian. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I just get decided. <laughs> No, I didn't know, because, like I said, she's in college right now, and, and no one wants to think about their baby sister getting railed out by some fucking douchey college guy. But some cute little girl making sweet love to my baby sister? I'm just making it weird, right? I'm sorry. Never mind, never mind. I don't want to fuck my sister, I swear. <laughs> fuck. Okay, uh... College, man, this shit's crazy, right? Yeah, we're experiment we experimenting in here, huh? We do. Yeah. I, I had a threesome when I was in college. The only threesome I ever had was when I was in college ten years ago. Didn't go how I expected. Halfway through the threesome, I accidentally made eye contact with the guy. And I was like, whoa, dude. And I looked at the other guy and I was like, whoa, dudes! Yeah, I should have known. I went to an all men's military college. That's, that's how they get you, you know. Hell yeah. <laughs> well, if you guys like playing games in here, uh, one of my new favorite games to play is Chinese Checkers. You know Chinese Checkers? Yeah. Yeah, it's where I stand outside the mall and I go, hey man, you Chinese? <laughs> Just checking. <laughs> All right. <laughs> If they say yes, I give them a hundred dollars. Cause yeah, yeah, you thought it was racist. It's not. <laughs> I give them a hundred dollars and I tell them it's not their fault. <laughs> Back to racist. Hell yes. <laughs> Fuck yes. All right. Uh, this is true, unfortunately. Also, uh, three weeks ago, my mom got diagnosed with breast cancer. Yeah, which sucks because she's got rocking tits. <laughs> Well, I'm serious. They're great. They're good. Uh, I think they're going to take them away from her. It's not fair. Um, so she only has breast cancer in one of her breasts, and uh, so they're going to remove one of her breasts. And her insurance is saying they're only going to cover her getting one fake tit afterwards. Yeah, so my mom's going to have one brand new awesome fake tit. And <laughs> the 60 year old one. You know? <laughs> So if I can't find a way to raise $5,000, they're going to have my mom's tits looking like Forrest Whitaker's eyes. <laughs> or like The Rock's eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing research on breast cancer, trying to help my mom out. Uh, I didn't know this before, I swear to God. Did you know that men can get breast cancer? Yeah, when you're in college. Okay, all right. I went to military college. They didn't teach us that. Uh, but yeah, men can get breast cancer. You know what women can't get? Testicular cancer. Yeah, one more thing us men are better at. Dying. Uh, I tried to look up if there was such thing as clit cancer. But I couldn't find it. <laughs> Making cancer funny. Uh, uh, my ex-girlfriend just broke up with me. 
It's kind of a surprise after all that. Uh, only took her six months to go from, oh my god, you're so funny, to, is everything a fucking joke to you? <laughs> Which I thought was kind of rude of her to say at her dad's funeral. Fuck. <laughs> no, it's not what she broke up with me. Uh, she broke up with me. This is worse. Uh, I'm glad my sister didn't show up. Uh, my ex-girlfriend broke up with me because I wasn't able to come during sex. Yeah, girls don't like that. They, girls always want you to last longer in bed. Until you last forever. That's, that's where they draw the line, at forever. It's like petting a cat, you know? Like, the cat's into it. The cat's fucking love it. But all of a sudden, out of nowhere, the cat freaks out and scratches you? Because you haven't come yet? <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> I'm trying to work on it. Uh, my doctor's got me on testosterone now. Yeah, that, yeah, I had to ask my doctor to help me come. Uh, so, so he gave me pills for it. And it's working. Uh, one of the side effects of testosterone is nocturnal emissions. I mean, college kids, you know what that is? It's wet dreams. Yeah, 32 years old, I'm having wet dreams now. Yeah. I went from not coming at all to coming in my sleep. That's how good I am at it now. Do <laughs> that shit in my sleep. It's awesome. Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, it's only happened a couple times, but it happened a few weeks ago, and I woke up from the most amazing, incredible wet dream. I came for so hard. Uh, it was great. Uh, but I woke up to find myself spooning my dog. Yeah. That's a tough roller coaster of emotions. To... <laughs> yeah. Uh, I had shorts and underwear on, so nothing got on the dog. Or worry, Athens. <laughs> Not like the cat. <laughs> I didn't come on my dog, right? The only problem is, now my dog keeps asking me what we are. <laughs> yeah, we just live together. <laughs> Everything's a fucking joke to me. <laughs> Not a single mask in here. That's that kind of shocked me. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. We're done, right? We're fucking done. Hell yes, yes. Russia beat COVID. It's what we care about now. Yeah, I'm glad we're done with masks. Uh, uh, I was treating masks the same way I've always treated condoms. Like, oops. I guess I forgot to bring one. Whoops. No, like, I'll put one on, but as soon as we start drinking, it's coming right back off. Um, that's what the CDC said, right? Remember, masks and condoms. You can only take them off if you're drinking. Or eating. Uh, I hate doing that. I don't know why I do that anymore. I don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> uh, anybody remember their first time buying condoms? Anybody knew? Maybe recently? Huh? Huh? Anybody buying condoms? Yeah, pretty cool, right? A little embarrassing the first time, though, right? It's like, yeah, dude, I'm fucking in, like, a little, you know, like, kind of condoms. I, I, I was embarrassed the first time I bought condoms. I was 17 years old when I bought my first box of condoms. Didn't have sex for the first time until I was 22. <laughs> yeah. I ended up jerking off on every single one of those condoms. Didn't have an expiration date. You gotta use them, you know? <laughs> but even at 32 years old, I still get embarrassed every time I buy condoms. Because I have to buy the Magnums. <laughs> No, 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 no. It's not like I got anything special going on down there. It's just my mom always said, you dress for the job you want. <laughs> my clothes tight and my condoms baggy. What's up? 